isn't just SEC football. This is a rivalry, folks. We should see one heck of a contest today. And now the coin talk, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. LSU is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 24. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Out of bounds at the 28. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. Steps out of bounds around the 31 yard line. around the 34-yard line. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. He really got a hold of that one. He's out to the 30. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Caught open field. Tackle made at the 50-yard line. Gates with the tackle at the 50-yard line. That brings up second and one. From midfield. Second down. They'll bring him down at the 50. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Well, Kirk, he managed to get enough there to move the chains. That yep, that's a great attack. effort there by the running back to be able to get the ball upfield and pick up another valuable first down. First and 10, ball on the 44-yard line. Scrambling around. He's at the 30. He's taken down at about the 27-yard line. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Makes it out to about the 16. First down. It's first and 10. Ball on the 16 yard line. And he hits him hard at the eight yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and The Tigers had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Runs right for a nice game. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain and a first down. Here's the eighth play of the series. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Licked his wrist and made the connection to his wide receiver. It looked to me that the defense was more worried about the quarterback scrambling, and that's why they just gave up that touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. 
An eight play, 59 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. The score now, seven nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Jones from the one. And he just got drilled. The Tigers are right where they want to be early in this one, partner. Well, this is what their coach talked about, getting off to a great start. The defense did their job, and it's nice to see the offense move the ball down the field and also get some points on the board. And while they are behind, they know they can knot things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And they make the stop at the 34. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Slings it. Number five was the intended receiver on the play. They're about four yards away here on third down. Ready! Ready! Quick throw to the tight end, and he's taken down at about the 41. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. He makes it out to midfield. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. Fourth down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's tackled right around the 16-yard line. From their own 16-yard line, second down, LSU is up a score. the middle for a nice game that's a game of seven on the play that makes it third and seven <laughs> tries to get out of trouble but he can't shake the defense Brown, back deep to return. And he's tackled at the 43. LSU's looking awfully impressive right now on defense, but we are in the first quarter. Yeah, this is about a dominant first quarter that we have seen in a long time. But let's see if they can continue to play this well throughout the rest of the ball game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And he's tackled the 39-yard line. That makes it second and six. Ready! And he's shoved out of bounds right around the 34. He 
he's tackled in the open field. Man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Jackson makes the tackle at the 34 yard line. That brings up second and 13. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 34 yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. yard line a huge play and now they're in a great position to score it in a hurry and he is drilled at the one number 15 with the tackle at the one yard line that brings up second and goal touchdown rebels This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. I'm not sure what happened, but one of the players is hurt. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. A nine-play, 43-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. We get a tie game at 7-7. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. And a big hit, and he'll lose yardage. It's second down, 12 to go. All on their own 23. Gets the ball here and brought down to the backfield. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Brought down at about the 35. The Rebels saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. Well, the coverage team did their job and made the play. Let's see if the defense can continue the effort. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Metcalf picks up around five yards with that catch. Nearly intercepted. We played one. We're even at seven in this one. That'll make it third and five. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Ready. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180. 180.
Trying to set up a little screen. Gets it to his tailback. That's a great tackle at the 40-yard line. Look at a scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Ready! He scrambles. Room around the corner. And now he's going to run. Fumble. Loose ball. made at the 41. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. There was some movement on the line. Ball start. Offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. From the 39-yard line, second down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we got Mike to 48 right now. Let's go. Ready. 180. Back. Quick out to his receiver. He's knocked out of bounds at the 33. Pack picks him up six yards with a catch. Gains his way to the 23 yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. Passes to the wide out and he can't pull it in. From the 23 yard line, it's second down. and it's almost picked off. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision throwing into coverage. He needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Ready. He launches one for the end zone. Almost picked off. That ball had interception written all over it, but the defender couldn't hang on. I think the quarterback there was a little too intent on hitting that receiver. Fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. Ole Miss to kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Second and long. Ball in their own 20. Boy, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack, but somehow he's able to throw the ball away. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Is 
is the deep man awaiting the return. And this one is a beauty. He dropped it. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Ole Miss is up a field goal. Looks for his running back, incomplete. Number 28, the intended receiver on the play. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Gets rid of it quickly. They'll bring him down to the 38-yard line. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. He's taken down at the 29. That makes it second and two. They'll drop him for a loss. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and three. He tackles him for a loss. Fulton on the tackle. It's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's tackled at the 20. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. From their own 17-yard line. Second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. He's going to try and scramble. And he can't get away from the pressure. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Third and long now after the sack. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And they make the stop at the 23-yard line. That brings up fourth and seven. Brown is back to receive. Tackle made at the 45-yard line. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ole Miss is up by six. And he's taken down around the 45-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Rifles at right. That close to being intercepted. Ground 
was the intended receiver on the play. Third down, and they need to get Third it down, down to the 35. He might not be able to get the pass off. And they got him. Called a loss of six yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. And he throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Now he's flushed and they got it. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. So the sack makes this third and very long. Once and all, going deep. Here's a great example of what this man is capable of. As receivers go, he's as electric as they come. up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Number five. Number five. Okay, just like that. Just like that. And he's tackled around the 49-yard line. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And down he goes at the 44-yard line. The Rebels saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. Punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ole Miss, up six. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 20-yard line, second down. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. A minute left in the half. And down he 
he goes at the 47-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick toss. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Second and 10. Ball in their own 47. A little toss across the middle. Brought down at the 48. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ole Miss with a six-point lead. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. He lets it go. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. That'll make it third and five. From their own 25-yard line. Third down. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 48. Ole Miss is going to take their first time out of the half. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. He wants it all going long. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Great first half of action, and we're hoping for more of the same. The Rebels in front by six. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. So far, so good for both offenses in terms of taking care of the football, but now the defenses are ramping up the sense of urgency in terms of trying to get the ball back to their offense. Uh, absolutely. you got to find Reese. These ball hawks on defense, they need to find the football. They need to make some big plays, create some turnovers. How about using that hit stick a little bit? How about knocking somebody silly and making them drop the football? I mean, Defense's number one priority is trying to turn the football over, trying to make a big explosive play for your offense so, so they can do more damage and they can take the ball down the field. So those ball hawks need to show themselves in the second half. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. We've got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Rebels continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They give to the tailback. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Gets it. He's in space. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 32-yard line. Tackle at the 40. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. 
It makes First an down. offense so much more versatile. First and 10, ball on their own 40. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Runs outside for a nice game. Call it a game of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Tackle made around the 35-yard line. Gain of 11 yards. First down. The option to the tailback, good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Knocked out of bounds after the catch. That's a gain of seven on the play. First down. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. Tackle after a decent pickup. So he picks up about five on the option to the halfback. That brings up second and five. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Quick throw, almost intercepted. You like a team that's ready to defend the pass. It takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Gets it out quickly. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of about two. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Colt has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30-yard line. Kickoff returns 26 yards. We're about set to start things up again. Ole Miss has a three-point lead. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 37-yard line. I think he's got a good rhythm going right now with his wide receivers. He hit him for a nice game. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up third and four. What are you doing? So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Roger, Roger. Hey, alert 48. Hey, come on, Mike, to 48 right now. Let's go. Ready. He's going to air it long. That's a great tackle at the 24-yard line. Tries to buy some time. Decides to slide. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. So we're looking at another third down here. Here's 
a throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Alexander brings him down at the 19-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and five. Ole Miss is up by three. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. Wonderlich ready to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard behind the line. That makes it second and 14. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. Completes it across the middle. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Prior gain of 13 yards. That'll make it third and one. Reset, cut back. 43 on the right. Watch one, watch one. You know, Brad, on these third downs where it's third and medium, it gives the play caller a chance to run the football or to throw the football. And in this case, I didn't really think the defense was sitting back thinking about more of the pass game, and it opened up some running lanes, and the offense was able to take advantage of that and convert for a first down. Gains his way to midfield. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50. And they make the stop at the 49. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Yeah, tight left, tight left. Go down, go down. 23 the mic. Get down. Get down. They'll get him for a loss. down and they need to get it inside the 40. Quick throw and he's taken down at the 42 yard line. Number 43 on the tackle at the 42 yard line. That'll bring up fourth and one. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Gets to about the 41-yard line. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Ole Miss is up by six. He's hit and taken down. Second and four. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in and he's got space. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Yard line. Loss of six on the play. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. He's going to try and scramble. How about the intensity of the pass rush? These hits take a toll on a quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of him. Ready! 
Throws it deep. Makes the grab and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. Tackles him hard at the one. That's good for a gain of three yards. Brings up second and goal. Ole Miss up six. He's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. He hits the PAT. A seven-play, 60-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And they can forget about returning this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. And he's tackled at the 30. That's three down and one to go. The Rebels with a 13-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Number 28 was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 37-yard line, second down. Throws it out there. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Williams breaks up the pass. Third down. Watch the out. Watch the out. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to fight the 48 right now. Let's go. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's tackled at the 43. That screen gets around six. Gain of six on the play. That makes it fourth and four. the 29. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. On the ground with the tailback. And he's stopped behind the line. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Out of bounds around the 31-yard line. Fires it out. Brought down at the 46-yard line. 
Woods makes the tackle at the 46-yard line. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 46. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. That makes it second and 10. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. Called a gain of 10 yards. First down. Runs in and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 38 yard line. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. Gain of 35 on the play. That makes it first and goal. We might see another run here as it's first and goal. They bring him down in the backfield. No game on the play. That brings up second and goal. This is the 10th play of this drive. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he converts the extra point. LSU kicked this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And he's taken down at the 20-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Ole Miss with a six-point lead. He's on the run. He's out to the 30. Tackle around the 36-yard line. it out that close to being intercepted Brad, he drops the ball here i don't know if he's starting to peek downfield and think about the return or what but that ball's right in his hands he just dropped it second and ten ball on the 36 got a man watch out here tackle made at the 41 gain of five yards that'll make it third and five Throws out to the running back, no good. Number 24, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. <laughs> Steps out of bounds, right around the 32-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He has some room. And he hits him hard at the 40. 
that's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second. It's two. second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Makes the catch and look out. They'll bring him down around the 46 yard line. Gates on the tackle at the 46 yard line. Two times, two times. That makes it first and ten. And he is drilled at the 45 yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 45. Makes it to the 37. Call it a gain of eight yards. That'll make it third and one. Less than three minutes in the game. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 34. into the halfback on the screen. He gets hit out of bounds around the 15-yard line. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. First and 10. Ball on the 15-yard line. He fights forward to about the 13. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. This is the eighth play of this drive. He gets another carry. That's a great tackle at the 14-yard line. They'll line it up again on third down. He tackles him for a loss. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Just over a minute left. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Unbelievable pass. They don't care what down it is. It's the 11th play of the drive. for the touchdown, and we are all tied up. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. as his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rebels have got to be fired up how this game is going. they still got a chance to win. Well, you're talking about a huge underdog that's battled the entire game. They've got the football here to start this drive late with a chance to take the lead. You can't even imagine what this would do for this football team if they could put six points up on the board. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Jackson breaks it up. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Check, check, Ball on their own 25. Check, check. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Hey, hey. 
Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. Loss of three on the play. That'll make it third and 13. A little over a minute in the game. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. Scrambling around. That's how we do, That's how we do. They don't regular, want to regular, regular, regular. This. Now he's scrambling, and he's sacked. Check, check. Regular, regular, regular. That'll bring up third and long. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. You can talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. Late in the fourth quarter in a one-possession game, and poise is what it's all about here. Who's going to have it and who won't? run and he's brought down. Ole Miss is going to use their first time out of the half here. He's taken down at the seven yard line. A great game here today in a tight one. 24-23 LSU. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. They've talked about the rivalry all week long, and for good reason. We saw the intensity down on the field every play, and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other. It'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.